Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I am your host, Andre Salazar. This is the channel where we're going to talk about both the art of comics and the business of comics. And so thanks for joining me. Today's episode, we're going to chit chat about San Diego Comic Con and what I brought back with me. So here we go here. Uh, one of the things I love about San Diego Comic Con is you go get some cool stuff that you normally don't get to find at a comic shop. Um, or you just get to kind of catch up on your, your list of things that you've been kind of wanting to get all year. So I'm going to go through a little bit of some of the stuff that I'm into and what I wound up bringing back. First thing, as you can see, I got the snazzy um, jacket, which was kind of a pain in the butt to get. Really wanted to get something kind of fun and different. Uh, I never get clothes, and so I thought I'd get this cool little jacket. This was a pre-order. Uh, it sold out like multiple times. I actually just got it, that pre-order, but then I had to wait in line for like two hours. That was a big pain in the butt. Other than wasting two hours in line for a pre-order, uh, the jacket's really fun. It's got some cool little stuff on it, and uh, I'm kind of sporting that today. So that was the first thing I was stoked about. Um, and then at Comic-Con, I'm going to get a lot of books, and we'll go into those, but I also get a couple little trinkets. So one of the things I always get is an anime. So um, I wanted to get Kids on the Slope uh, Blu-ray set. It... Uh, is done by Cowboy Bebop, that director, and so I'm a big fan of Cowboy Bebop, and I like jazz, and so I thought I would get this. So I started watching this, and it's slow, it's slice of life, but I dig it. So um, I'm kind of excited about this. I got this. I also got um, this really fun little lunch box. I've been wanting to get one of those little bento boxes forever, and um, I can't find the one I like at the price point I like. So I got an old school lunchbox. Doesn't have the thermos. I don't think you can find, unless you get a proper vintage one with thermoses, because I really want that. But um, no thermos, but it's cool. It's 20 bucks. I actually use it for work, so bada bing. And it is the 2017 Fan Expo exclusive. What do you know? Um, so that was cool. Uh, what else did I get that's not comic book related? Um, I don't know how I got this Superman Returns uh, DVD. There are some free stuff you can get. Back in the day, there was tons of like swaggy free crap. Nowadays, not so much, but um, I did somehow get this Superman Returns DVD, uh, CD. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's really good. I have to listen to it. I like Spike and Mike's Twisted uh, Animation. I just like animation. And so on Sunday, it went from $45 to 20 bucks for the set. So I bought 20 bucks. I bought the set of the DVDs. I don't know if any of these are really good, but I have a neighbor who's in animation, so we'll probably sit here and watch some of these. I thought 20 bucks, what the heck, right? Go for it. And then last non-comic book related or comic book thing I got, I got the soundtrack to uh, Blade Runner 2049. I do like soundtracks. I don't have that many. I have a, I have a handful. Like I have uh, Hateful Eight, things like that. But uh, I wanted some kind of soundtracky ambiance when I'm doing some drawing, working on my next book, Shangri-La States. And so I thought it'd be fun to get this. Mondo, Mondo had an exclusive version of this set for 45 bucks and I just didn't want to pay 45 bucks for some vinyl mainly because I'm cheap so I got this on Amazon but I'm kind of excited because it sounds the same to me and I don't care if it's like color because it's gonna be spitting in, in there so it don't matter to me um, I did listen to this this is pretty epic this is cool okay let's get into the books because that's what this is all about so here we go book time Buddy. Uh, let's start off with some of the comics that I got basically for free. These are just some little like handoffs, handies that um, people were handing out. Um, maybe not handies, is not, that's not the right word. You know what I mean? Freebies. Okay, first thing, humanoids. Big fan of humanoids, you know, mostly the Italian and uh, European stuff. But um, I thought with this new H1 line they're doing, it'd be kind of cool to check it out. So I got the sampler. Uh, you know, this is kind of one of those classic, like, 
a bunch of stories in one, um, kind of get a taste of what they're doing. So I'm very interested in the kind of the tone of this align. And so, yeah, we got this guy. So that's kind of fun. Um, we also got uh, tooth and nail. Uh, I have no idea how I got, sometimes I just get stuff because people will just throw comics at you. Um, don't know much about this. Can't say who Eric Peterson or Joe Aubrey are. Uh, oh, Derek Robinson. Okay, I do know him, of course. So um, we'll check. We'll take a look at that. So that's cool. Um, okay, DC Comics gave us Catwoman number one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of spandex nowadays, but I do like this art. Who is this? This is not Allred. It's not Mike Allred. I don't know who this is. I'll look it up. Um, it says Allred there on the cover, but... Uh, Laura Allred. Okay. Oh, okay. Joelle Jones. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I am excited to kind of read this. I heard it's good. Uh, Watchmen? What is this? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, this is the freaking comic. Wait a minute. What is... Why is this a special edition? What is going on? This is like my jam, so I'm curious. What are they doing to this book? Maybe it's just to get people understanding Watchmen before they read the other little tie-ins because of the HBO show, I would assume. Uh, you're the villain. And what do you know, Crisis. What is this? Okay, yeah, this is straight up Crisis, yeah. This is such a good series. If you have not read Crisis, I don't know what to tell you. Um... Dead Legends. I have no idea what this is. Who is this? A blue, a wave blue world. Do not know what this is, but I will read it. Let you guys know. Batman White Knight. Um, I really like Sean Murphy, so yeah, I'm definitely want to just like read this and kind of study this puppy. Look at that. Look at the art, dude. The art is so good. So yeah. We gotta check that out. That's this is kind of fun. And then uh, don't ask me why I have another Watchmen. So one of the I got two. So one of the goals was to look for Ashcan comics and look for comics that um, you can't find at the shop. That's like my big thing. So um, I wanted to find stuff that I couldn't find. It was so hard to find Ashcan comics and kind of underground stuff. First thing I did is I went to Artist Alley and small press i went to all those guys and i found very little stuff that i was really attracted to um you know that's just my this was really cool though and then one day he had a bunch of stuff i just picked up one of his i should have probably picked up a couple more but i just really like the production of this it looks really neat um i like the color i like the paper tone and um yeah, this looked really kind of neat. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think this is this is one of the, the highlights. So this is um, Ryan Claydor. Yeah, really, really stoked about this. Uh, this is cool. Uh, what else? We got Left-Handed Compliments by, Je by James Wright. And so this is kind of definitely got that um, Ashcan comic. Looks like an anthology, perhaps. Yeah, there's all kinds of different art and stuff. So I'm excited to kind of read these. I like these little things, you know? Um, I mean, compare and contrast this with what we were just looking at, the DC giveaways, right? It's just such a different vibe. But I kind of like the lo-fi stuff. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, Lupina 1, Phase 1. This looks kind of fun. I like the colors, kind of the uh, washes. So, yeah, we'll check this out. This is a little more production design in here, but um, this looks fun. So this would be kind of a nice thing to get. Uh, what is Bean World? I have no idea what this is, but I picked it up. Um, again, this I think was, yeah, it looks kind of neat though. I like it. So I need to find out more about this guy. Yeah, uh, Larry Martyr at blogspot.com, so check that out. Um, here's a cool guy. This guy was really neat. 
he was giving these out for free, and I thought this was super ballsy. I mean, this is literally, he printed this out just for Comic-Con. So this is something, he has his number table on here. He's putting money. He put like, this is a couple bucks that he did. Like he put a map where he's at, the thing, the thing. I mean, this is really not, look, Newsarama, Chick with Books, all these different things. What the hell, Kirkman, he got Kirkman to say something? People, support any comics. Yeah, so I was really impressed with the fact that this guy spent some serious money. Look at this. This is like nice paper. So um, why didn't I go back and buy some more books from him? I don't know. I think I just got, got lost in the shuffle. But this is really nice. Farlane the Goblin. Yeah, really impressed with this guy's stuff. Um, Pug Grumble. It goes by Pug Grumble is his pen name. Really impressed with this one. Um, meeting Comics. This was kind of a cool, like, another little ash can. This is the kind of stuff I was looking for. I wanted, if there was like a hundred of these type of things, I would have bought them. They're just, people aren't into them now. You know, people want more production. And I'm kind of like, I want the reverse. I want less. Um, so, yeah. So, this looks actually kind of cool. I like the, the colors on this. Yeah, like this. This is the kind of stuff I dig. Um, what else? And then I've got this as well. This is kind of an old school magazine idea I really liked. So I'm excited about these. This is the stuff I'm really stoked about. So, yeah, this looks kind of cool. So, freaky. Um, he had a couple different ones. Uh, so, got that. And this is a really neat uh, this guy, too. He was in small press. He had this really kind of cool, these little comics. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna keep all these. I don't know if I should bag and board them or if I'm gonna have a separate little like box for indie comics or something, I don't know. I gotta figure it out. That's my, actually, um, I've done a number of 24 hour comics and tonight I'm actually going through them, compiling them and I might make a little ash can myself of all my 24 hour comics. I thought that would be kind of fun. So I'm gonna try to do that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is neat. I dig this. And then I doubled down on him and I got this, which is two more books of him. Um, so I spent like 20 bucks on this dude, which uh, for me is more than I usually do. Uh, I just thought the production was really cool on these. I really like the format, these big things. And it has this really nice little, um, little band thing, I don't know what these things are called. But I thought this was cool. So this guy, he got a bunch of my stuff and his name is Josh Shalek. I remember he was from Portland. Um, so yeah, I like the production. I like when you do stuff like this. It's just, I'm into it now. I don't know, what can I say? Okay, and then I'm now I'm just gonna go into like trades and stuff that I wanted or, or I thought was cool. Um, yeah, I got these. Dracula. Tomb of Dracula, the Gene Colon stuff. I got two, three, and four, and I got them all for five bucks each. Super stoked. These have been out of print. These are hard to find. I finally got these freaking things. Um, it's probably more comics than I'll ever need to read, but I like Gene Colon, and I think this stuff is brilliant, so I got a bunch of um, these, and um, yeah, if you don't know who Gene Colon is, you got I mean, you guys know who Gene Colon is, if you're if you're watching this. If you're not, shame on you. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about, get me some Gene Colon action. So, and I've heard this is just a great series and I really like uh, Wolfman, so. I got these three big tomes. I mean, this is like serious comics right there. Um, Headlopper, I got Headlopper. This looked really cool. This is by Image, by uh, Andrew McLean. And Mike Spicer, I think, does the colors. I just like the I like the look of this. I don't even know if it's a good story yet. I just bought this stuff, um, but I was attracted to the art, and it looks like a fun little like uh, fantasy fantasy deal. So I was like all about it. So I got this. Excited about this one. Uh, Doro Hedoro is a anim is a manga. Um, I've heard this is good. 
there's a guy who does a blog called Seth's like graphic novel recommendate daily recommendation or something like that and he put this as one of his top uh, books of last year so I thought I'd get this and um, so it's kind of a horror kind of a strange thing got this stoked about it little Nemo uh, this is kind of a I probably should have got a bigger size I like the the Windsor McKay stuff so and I really like lock and key so the artist here Gabriel um, Rodriguez he does the art who did lock and key and I love Eric Shanawar he does um, Age of Bronze which if you haven't read Age of Bronze they're re-releasing them as in colored version personally I think black and white's better that's just because I love Eric's lines um, so you got to go get Age of Bronze brilliant book about the Iliad Odyssey that whole story um, that he's doing with image but uh, again because of my love for Windsor McKay and and what um, Little Nemo is all about I thought I should get this book and it was only 10 bucks and so um, stoked about getting this finally one of the things I was really stoked to get was this because I've heard so much about uh, Junji Ito about his horror and stuff so I finally got this I could have gotten more but I thought this was 30 and this is a massive tome and I figured I don't need to get more right now I could get it later but he's got tons of books I have not read his stuff before so I'm really excited to to check this out um, he's supposed to be the definitive kind of horror guy right now in in the manga world so he's the real deal so I'm excited to kind of read this. Um, so this is like, yeah, stoked about reading this one. Mr. Miracle, uh, no surprise. I'm kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Um, late to the party on Mr. Miracle. I've been trying to get it forever. I finally found it. Um, and so yeah, really excited about the art and I really like Tom King's um, vision he did. So I've heard great things about this book and it won some awards. And so um, this is definitely high on the read list. What else do we got? We got a bunch of other stuff. Um, a perfect failure. I didn't go crazy. I know you might look like I'm going crazy, but I got everything at a pretty good discount. A couple things I paid full price. And um, you know, besides the jacket, I didn't really spend any big ticket items. These are all just like, a few books here and there. Some things are like five bucks, stuff like that. Um, a Perfect Failure is by um, Noah Van Skyver. His art is definitely rough. It's not for everybody, but it's got, again, it's got that kind of ash can, you know, indie kind of comic thing that I wanted to kind of get. Um, and he's known to be just the guy who knocks out of the park. Um, I have one of his other books, and I liked it. I wasn't in love with this, but I'm excited to kind of check this one out. So so I got it. I said, let's just risk it. I mean, it's won all these awards, you know. I go for, I'm go. i a sucker for award stuff. Um, definitely had to get Love and Rockets. I got to see uh, Gilbert Hernandez again and just tell him what I thought of uh, Three Sisters. Uh, one of the other Love and Rockets books I read. And so I'm excited to read this one. Um, I think this guy can do no wrong. Hopefully this won't be quite as hardcore and graphic as Three Sisters. Um, I don't mind some, some mature stuff, but that one was just like super hardcore. And just by flipping through this, it looks a lot better, a lot easier than... Um, than some of the, the other stories. But yeah, excited to read this. Definitely high on my list to read. I've got a couple more. Okay. I've been wanting to get some Ted McKeever stuff for a while. This was five bucks. I'm like, okay, I'm getting this. So excited to finally get into this guy. I think I remember reading some of his stuff long ago, but I don't have any. So I just want to learn from him. Um, so I got this one, uh, Metropole huge fan of Kyle Baker like big 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 fan like top 10 of all time for me love his stuff I love what he did with the shadow and just everything 
So really excited to see his work. Um, I would love to see that in color, darn it. You know, there's just so many things. He's just like brilliant, look at that. He's just so good. Uh, what a guy who can draw cartoon, he can draw anything. He is just, I mean, just this guy knows what he's doing. Huge fan of this. So five bucks, and I, this is what I don't have. I have most of his stuff. But I thought, hey, what the heck, let's get this. Uh, four kids walk in a bank. I've wanted this for literally years and years. Finally got this freaking thing. Um, I did pay full price, but I said, screw it. I'm buying this. It was only 15 bucks, and it's a bit brilliant. Um, Joe Casey. I didn't, I haven't read this yet, but um, I like the art, and I like him. And so I thought, let's give it a shot. It's five bucks. Let's risk it. Um, American Vampire. I don't have this one. And I really liked the first volumes. So I said five bucks. Let's get it. Huge fan of um, Inky Bialz. And so I had never seen this before. But again, can't go with five dollars, dude. So I picked it up. Um, and let me look at this stuff. It's brilliant. So... Maybe I can do an episode just on him and his work because I'm a big fan. I'm really excited. All, everything I got, it's like stuff I've either wanted or I'm just really excited about it. There was nothing that I was like, I just didn't want to spend money on stuff I wasn't stoked on. So, um, yeah, I'm stoked on everything. The last thing I got were these. These are these big beastie guys from Fantagraphics by Tardy, uh, a French guy. And uh, these are beasts, and they're really cool looking. And let's see here if I can open them up. And uh, you know, I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit so we can kind of kind of see this a little better. Um, beautiful art, uh, very verbose. <laughs> some of this stuff, but I'm really excited. I got books one and two. They gave me a little sweetheart deal on Sunday. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of like dive into this uh, war story uh, by this French French artist. I've heard of Tardy before. Um, someone recommended that I look this guy up. And so when I saw these two books out, I said, you know, I'm going to get it. There were other books at Fantagraphics I really wanted. But I've got so many books I haven't even read from last Comic-Con. Uh, I just got to chill out. So I said, I'm just going to get these and call it a day. And so I got it. Um, so that was, that's these guys. That's it. I guess the last thing I can share with you was I got to meet Chris Ware. Finally, I got my book signed. This is a little signature there uh, to Andy. He did this little thing here. Really kind of fun. Um... He's great. What can I say? Huge fan of this. As you know, there's an episode I did just of uh, Jimmy Corrigan. Huge fan of him. Um, saw him on like, I went to like every panel. I think he was on two or three panels. Went to those. Saw Seth. Uh, Steranko. I did a number of panels, which was fun. Most of them were really good. Some were, were a little hit and miss. But um, Comic-Con was great. This is what I got. Didn't go crazy, but I'm really excited to to read this stuff and I'll definitely share it with you in future episodes. Thanks a lot for watching, checking it out. Hope you guys um, have a great day and everything. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be putting out a new video about Seth um, Wimbledon Green next. And then there's some other videos that I've got. Uh, Sergio Topi is coming up in a couple weeks. So I got some good stuff. Recommend me if there's some some artist or book you want me to talk about we could do that or we could talk about my stuff that I'm working on. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and um, Keep reading comics making comics art of comics. Boom. Bye guys oh, yeah.